Panya Oyowale picked up her four-year-old son Jarius Tuesday night from his teachers at a Manhattan Upper West Side pre-K program, fully recognizing the parental trust required to leave him in their care. I work at a child care program, too. Oh, you do? Yeah, they have EpiPen there. EpiPens, those life-saving devices that can stop an allergic reaction, are now top of mind for so many parents of Head Start early education aged children, especially after three-year-old Elijah Silvera suffered a fatal dairy allergy reaction after someone at his school gave him a grilled cheese sandwich. Now there is an online petition asking newly re-elected Mayor Bill de Blasio to listen to the almost 4,300 plus people who have signed it to send EpiPens to all New York City schools, not just buildings with nurses, and then train staff on how to use them. The school where Tanya works is on board, but only voluntarily. Staff is uh, certified. Was this little boy's death a wake-up call for I your facility and, and, and others in the city? I, I believe so, to be more aware and take it more seriously. We spent Tuesday afternoon calling school districts all across our region, from Ramsey and Bogota in Bergen County, New Jersey, Yonkers across the Hudson River in Westchester County, to Valley Stream and Farmingdale in Nassau County, Long Island, in addition to Port Jefferson and Babylon in Suffolk. All of these school districts either have someone on staff ready to administer an emergency EpiPen dose, or have free EpiPens on hand, or even have lunch aides walking around with them. We wanted to hear from the mayor's office, the de Blasio administration, uh, on this petition, the call for EpiPens in all New York City schools, not just buildings where nurses are present. We began reaching out to the de Blasio administration at 5.58 p.m. this evening. Still no word yet, and we would not be surprised if we do get a response as soon as we sign off. All right, Jay, thank you so much. Please let us know.